It's the most powerful object known to man. Why? Because it could change the world in an instant if people truly understood it. What caused it? Scientists theorize it was an intense burst of light, like atomic power, something unprecedented, something extraordinary. This is the truth hidden in plain sight. The science is already settled, yet the debate rages on. Why? Because the implications are monumental. You see, science operates through what we call peer review, a rigorous process of verification. And when we strip away the noise, the opinions and the skepticism, what are we left with? Over 120 scientific papers analyzing the shroud. Of those, only six or seven reject its authenticity. And those six or seven? Their conclusions have been shown to contain errors, they've been debunked. What remains is undeniable, irrefutable evidence. This object takes us to Turin, Italy, where it rests in a bulletproof silver box, protected as though we already know it's authentic. This is the Shroud of Turin, a long linen burial cloth believed to have wrapped the body of Jesus of Nazareth. Every discipline of science and history has studied this cloth, and what we've discovered places it in the right time and the right place to be him. The flax, science shows it was grown near Syria, the pollen and dirt, most of it comes from Jerusalem, where the events of his life and death unfolded. Even the head cloth, a forensic match to the shroud, comes from Jerusalem. Then there's the dating. No medieval textile like this exists. But this? It's first century. Using the latest wax's dating techniques we now have confirmation. It aligns with the time of Jesus. Coins and artifacts resembling the shroud's face push its origin even further back into the millennia. The jury and verdict have been established, yet still the debate rages on. But what about the image itself? Peer-reviewed science has ruled out every possibility. It isn't paint, powder, liquid, burning, scorching, sunlight or any other artistic method. The image is so superficial it defies explanation. It's beyond human capability to create. The imprint is thinner than the width of a human hair. There is no paint soaking into the fibers, no brush strokes. It's as though the image was seared onto the very surface of the linen by a force we cannot replicate. This is why it continues to captivate scientists, historians, and believers alike. The Shroud of Turin is not just a relic. It's a mystery that defies logic and invites us to look deeper.